Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. I just want to pause the video really quick to apologize for how long this video is. I had like 75 minutes of footage to go through and managed to get it down to around 30 minutes, but that was very hard for me. It took about three full days between filming and editing to finally get this video done, and I feel like I cannot edit this down any more than it is right now. This is for the subscribers that requested this. I asked you guys in my last video if you would like to, me to compile all my unboxings into one video since I hadn't filmed them yet, and quite a few of you said that you would love to see a battle of the boxes, and you would also like me to still do the try on style and give you my first impressions like I usually do and that does take a lot of time so I'm sorry if this video is really long I completely understand if you guys don't want to watch a 30 minute video I get it 30 minutes is a long time to sit down and watch someone but you can just fast forward to the parts that you want to see like if you just want to see the ipsy unbagging or the fab fit fun or any of the other boxes you can just fast forward to that part i will put the timestamps down below in the description box so you know when each unboxing begins and i just wanted to let you guys know i totally get it i don't expect you guys to watch this whole video and i hope you enjoy this and if you do please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already and i love you guys so yeah that's it back to the video so today I'm going to be doing a battle of the boxes and by that I mean my subscription boxes. I have both of my Ipsy bags, I have my BoxyCharm, my Sephora Play, and also my seasonal FabFitFun box. So I'm going to be unboxing all of those for you today. And I'm not really sure how Battle of the Boxes videos work. I know I'm not the first one to come up with this. I love all these boxes. It varies from month to month which one is my favorite. But um, they are different price points, so I'm not really sure if it's fair to, you know, say that one box is better than the other, especially if it costs more. But yeah, I'm just going to show you what I got inside. I'll try on as many products as I can. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible. I feel like this video is going to be a million years long, so I'm going to have to move a lot quicker than I usually do. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you'd like to see what I got in my subscription boxes, then just keep watching. So I guess I will start out with my two Ipsy bags. So this is the bag this month. It's really, really cute. I didn't know what the bag looked like because I'm probably the last person putting up this unbagging. I think that this bag is super cute and I think my daughters would like this bag too, just like last month, so they'll probably take my other one. But um, it just says Ipsy on the zipper here and it has little lips on it. It kind of looks like cartoon-like and that's the back. It has like polka dots and it's like a tan color with black on the bottom. The theme this month is Volume Up, and the first thing I see in here is this from Koki Professional. It's a nail polish, and I've gotten this brand nail polish before from Ipsy, and I really like it. It doesn't chip quickly on me. It lasts a while, so, and I love this color. Oh, my light's giving a glare on. It's a really pretty coral color. It's like a corally pink. Really pretty. I love these colors for spring and summer. Next thing in the bag is this from NYX. It's the Whipped Fouette. Fouette, I don't know how to say that, but it's a lip product. Lip and cheek color in the shade Plush. Oh, that's a pretty color. It's like a mauve like purpley pink color. There it is, swatched. It's really pretty. All right, I'll go ahead and try it on for you guys. I'll just try them on as I go. I don't know if I'm getting any other lip products, but I'll just try this one on since that's the first one I pulled. It feels very like velvety on the lips. That's pretty. I thought it would be a lot more purple and pigmented than it is, but I'm actually happy that it isn't. This is a great like, like mauve pinky nude color. That would be great for every day. So I really like this. The next thing in the bag is this Hey Honey Detoxifying Mud Mask. It clarifies and detoxifies skin of impurities for normal to oily skin types. And I hope that'll be okay for me. I have really dry skin. I love face masks, so I'm happy to try this. The next thing in the bag is this from City Color Cosmetics. It's a shimmer eyeshadow and it's in the shade Cheers to Life. 
So that's the color. Ooh, that's pretty. Wow, I was not expecting that. That's very pigmented and it's almost like a foiled formula, like Makeup Geek foiled shadows. That's what it looks like, really pretty. I won't have like a transition shade or anything, but just wanna see how it looks like on the actual lid. I do have concealer on my eyes. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I just got out of the shower. I'm letting my hair air dry right now. Um, I just put some foundation and concealer on and I did my eyebrows and that's it. I like just doing those um, like very minimalistic makeup um, so that I can try the products on for you guys. This is huge, like this pan is, this is like the size of a blush. I love this. Okay, so that's what it looks like on the eyes. Very pretty. The last thing in the bag is this from The Balm. This is the Balm Springs Long Ring Blush. And I love their packaging. I think this is so cute. All their packaging is adorable. But that is a gorgeous color. There it is. That's really pretty. Oh, I love that color. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this on for you guys. I'm gonna use my Duo Fiber Brush. Normally I would use like a smaller blush brush, but this is what I grabbed, so I'm just gonna tap it in here. Oh, that's pretty. That's such a pretty color. I love that. And this would be great to travel with too. I've even seen people pop these in a Z palette. They'll put a magnet on the back and just put them in their Z palette so they can keep the cute packaging and just like open it up to use them. So I might do that. All right, so that was everything in this Ipsy bag. Now on to the second Ipsy bag. Okay, again with the lips bag and Oh, I do have some repeat products. Is it the same shade? Yes, okay. I got two NYX Whipped Fuete, however you say that, in plush. They gave me the same shade. And, yep, I got another Hey Honey mask. I got another eyeshadow, so now I have two of the exact same color eyeshadow. So far, I've gotten three of the same things. Make that four. <laughs> I got two Balm blushes, and they are both in Balm Springs. Oh, I did get this. This is different. I got the Trust Fund Beauty, which I'm really excited about. I love this brand of nail polish. And, ooh, that's pretty. Now, it looks very similar. This is my Koki one from my other bag, but this one is darker. It's like a darker coral. This is more neon coral. I don't know if... Um, the camera's picking it up good, but it is very like bright and fluorescent. Really pretty, I love this color. And this is called Game Changer. Really pretty. So I'm happy I got that, that was different. I got a different nail polish color, but everything else was the same in my second bag. I'm a little bummed. I was hoping to get to try out like different products in the bag. I knew I'd probably get like one or two duplicates, but to have four out of five the same, that's a little disappointing. So I might either cancel my second bag or maybe just do like a um, stash to do either a giveaway or a gift for someone. So that is it for my Ipsy bags. Now I guess I will do BoxyCharm next. So when you open the box, this is what it looks like. Oh, they put a little foam thing in there this month. That's nice. Okay, so the theme this month is, oh, it would help if I didn't have it <laughs> upside down. It is Downtown Charm. I guess I'm too old to read graffiti writing. I like seriously, I was like squinting trying to read this, but it says downtown charm. The first thing I see is this artist couture um, diamond glow powder in Illuminati. I'm actually not even gonna open this because I received this in, I believe my Ipsy, or I might've gotten it in a boxy charm before. I'm pretty sure I have this in Illuminati. Um, I'll have to check my collection, but I'm not gonna open this. Um, 
because if I give this to someone, I don't want it to be open, but it's just like a, like a highlighting powder. It's a very gold tone. So for me, it doesn't work as a highlighter, but it is great to like highlight the, um, like collarbone and shoulders and stuff on your body to make you like look really glowy. Um, especially when you're tan, it looks really good. So, um, there's that. So the next thing I see is this from Ofra, which I'm really excited about. I love Ofra liquid lipsticks. What shade is this? I have no idea what this shade is. It doesn't have a sticker on the bottom. Maybe I'm just blind, I don't know. I'll put it on the video or down in the description um, once I find out what the color is. But this is the color. Uh, I'm just gonna take off the NYX and try this on for you guys. Yeah, this is pretty dark for me, for my skin tone. I think with like medium to deep skin tones this would look absolutely gorgeous like more like a nude but for me it's pretty deep and i don't wear these types of colors usually in the spring or summer so um I'll probably whip this out in the fall and i'll love it but um for now i don't i don't think i'm going to get much use out of it this spring and summer for my skin tone just because i'm so pale so it's really deep on me but i do love their liquid lipsticks they are amazing the formula is amazing and i um really love them and this color is beautiful so the next thing I see is this Real Her Playbook Shadow Palette. So I guess this is an eyeshadow palette. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I like the packaging. It has like a really pretty, um, I guess this is the two. There must be different versions because, yeah, it says, it says you can get one, two, or three. So I got the second version of the palette. This is the variation that I got. It has a nice mirror here, but I don't want to blind you guys. So I like this version. I don't know what the other two look like, but this one's really pretty. I'll go ahead and swatch them for you. So this is the first row. There they are swatched. And this is the second row. And there's the swatches. Ooh, those are really pretty. I like these two. And these are the bottom row. This one's really pretty with the glitter in it. It actually does transfer to the skin, so that's pretty. I guess I could use these to add um, some crease colors to the eyeshadow I got from my Ipsy bag. So I'll do that really quick for you guys. I'm gonna take a Driven and put it up near my brow bone. Now I'm going to take Invincible. This is a matte brown color. And I'm going to, oh wow, that's pigmented. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of, I'm gonna take a little bit of a denser brush and take Unshakable. It's just a matte, like dark brown and put it in my outer corner. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Invincible and just run it under my lower lash line. Just go back with my fluffy brush and a little bit of Driven on it just to help blend it out. Now a little trick that I do is if there's a matte color like this that's light like my skin tone, I'll take it on a flat shader brush and clean up the eyeshadow so it makes a more straight line. I'm going to take my MAC 242, this is great for packing on shadow, and I guess I'm just going to dip into Awesome. Wow. This one, this color is much more bronzy. The other one's a little bit more coppery, I think. But this is impressing me a lot. All right, so I'm actually really impressed with these. I, I don't know what I was expecting with these, but I definitely wasn't expecting them to be like this nice. Like, these are very pigmented. So I really like this. This is amazing. Like how pigmented these are really impresses me. Okay, next thing in the box is this from Luxie, which excites me because I love Luxie brushes. And 
I don't think it's supposed to look like that. <laughs> it's a little misshapen, but that's nothing that I can't fix. Like, if a brush does that, you can just wash it and shape it when it's um, shape it when it's wet. So when it dries, it'll go back to its normal shape. But um, I actually don't have this brush. I have a lot of Luxie brushes that I've gotten from BoxyCharm and Ipsy and Ipsy Offers and stuff, but I don't have this one. This is the 640 Pro Precision Tapered Brush. It says, sweep the competition away with this tapered brush, perfect for dusting away powders or applying highlighter. This would be great to sweep away, like if you bake, it'd be great for that. So I'm excited to add this to my Luxie collection. And the last thing in the box are these sheet masks. I get these all the time from Ipsy and I really like them. So these are the Biobel face masks and they included three. It was like a pack of three. So there's the masks. I'm excited to use these. I'm sure y'all know by now, I love my face masks. So I love these. All right guys, that was everything in my BoxyCharm this month. I really love the Lexi brush. I love the Ofra lipstick. I'm just gonna probably wait until fall to wear this color um, unless I'm feeling really adventurous. But um, I love this eyeshadow palette too. This was the star of the show for me in this box. It was my favorite thing, I think. I love face masks too. So um, this box was a win for me. Even with the item that I already have, um, I still think it was a win. I love this box. Okay, next I'm gonna do my Sephora Play Box. This is the inside of the box this month, and the theme is Summer Starters. And they give you your play pass as usual, and the inside just tells you everything that you got. This is the bag this month. I think it's cute. It says, in a summer state of mind, and there's little girls swimming on it. Really cute, and I love the blue ties. The first thing I see is this Verb Sea Spray. It's for windswept waves and light dry texture. Um, I do have a few sea salt sprays. My hair is very fine and thin. Sea salt sprays don't work very well for me. It just makes my hair very like, um, like crunchy and it's still straight and it doesn't like wave or curl. So it just looks weird in my hair. So I don't normally like these, but I mean, I might try it out and see, um, what it does. I've heard great things about this brand. So the next thing in the bag is this from Kula. This is the Kula Makeup Setting Spray with green tea and aloe, organic sun care, and hyaluronic acid. That sounds really nice. So I wonder if I should try it even though I might have other makeup items to try. Oh, what the heck. We'll go ahead and try it. Okay. Woo! <coughs> I was not expecting that. The sprayer on this thing don't play. <laughs> it like shot me in the eye. I had my eyes closed, but it's still like, I jumped when I sprayed it. And it smells like, it smells like a sea salt spray. It smells like the beach and I kind of like it. It smells really good. And I like that it has SPF 30 in it too. So I'm, I'm excited for this. Next thing in the bag is this from Laboratories. Chlorine. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but it is a dry shampoo with oat milk for all hair types. Let's try this baby out. I just took a shower, but my hair is naturally flat all the time, so I might as well just see what this baby can do. All right. It does leave a little bit of a white cast. It smells very like baby powdery. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad smell to me, but I feel like it gave a little extra like poof to it. I don't know. It does leave a white cast if you are not careful. So um, just make sure you hold it like further away and don't spray like too much in one spot or you'll have a big white spot on your head. And next thing in the bag is this. I got the Porefessional. I am actually not a fan of this primer, so I'm not going to open it. And I'll just set it to the side with all the other like duplicate items that I got and um, you know, either save it for a gift or to give away. And um, 
yeah, I just, this didn't really work for me. It says it's a pore filling primer, but um, I think it works better on oily skin. For my dry skin, it just like kind of sat on top of my skin and my makeup didn't sit well on top of it. So I'm not too excited about getting this one, but that's all right. So the next thing in the bag is this um, perfume from Vo Volgari. It starts with a B, but I think it's just Volgari. Um, this is the Omnia Crystalline Audi Toilet. This says it is a fresh fragrance made with lotus flower, nashi, and balsa wood that evokes the radiance of a crystal. Let's see how this smells. Ooh, that's strong. I mean, I don't hate it. I think it smells nice. I mean, I don't know. I don't hate it. I'm not repulsed by it, so I'll use it. I do like getting these little samples. I think it's a great way to try out different perfumes to see if you like it enough to buy the full size. I'm not sure if I would buy the full size of this. Probably not. I mean, I do like it, but it has to be really special for me to buy the full size. Last thing in the bag is this from Kat Von D. I love Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. And this is, oh, I already have this one. This is in Love Sick. It's just a really pretty color. Hold on, let me go get my other one so I can swatch it for you guys. Okay, I went and got my um, Kat Von D Love Sick. Here's the one I got in my box and here's mine. Um, so I'm not gonna open this one, but I'll go ahead and swatch the one that I already have open. There it is right there. It's really pretty, it's like a purpley pinky color. It's like a mauve purpley color. Um, I'll try it on for you too. I, I actually believe that I've worn this on my channel before. I think in one of my videos I used it. There's that one. It's really pretty and I love Kat Von D formula, so I really love this. It dries down really fast. It's already pretty much all the way dry and I just put it on and it does not budge. Like these don't play, they dry down all the way. Like they're matte, like matte. All right, so that was everything in my Sephora play bag. I think this month was okay. It's not my favorite Sephora play bag I've ever gotten, but um, I do like this. This really intrigues me. I think this is my favorite thing in the bag, along with the Kat Von D, but I do already have it, so it's not as exciting to get it since I already own it. Um, but I do love this, and this I'm really excited to try out. All right, I've got to kind of go a little bit more quickly now because I'm about to run out of storage on my phone, so um, my last thing I need to get through is my FabFitFun box. I am going to go ahead and let you guys know that I did add-ons this month. This is not part of the FabFitFun box that you would get if you were to order it. I just added these on and paid extra for these, so I'm going to go through those really quickly. Um, I just got the um, USB card charger. It's like this blue, um, pretty blue color, and it has like a flower, it looks like a rose on it, and it's just for like the cigarette lighter in your car. And um, it came with the um, blue USB um, lightning cable that comes with it. And it plugs into this so I can charge my phone in my car. But anyways, um, now into the FabFitFun box. Let's go ahead and cut into this. I gotta go pretty quickly because I'm about to run out of storage on my phone. I talked way too much. All right, so it comes with this really pretty like magazine this month. And it says, Hello Summer. So I guess inside it talks about what products you're getting and how to use them and things like that. And so I'm going to keep looking at this as I go. Um, it came with a Vital Proteins Marine Collagen Dias Hairy Supplement for hair, skin, nails, joints, and bones, unflavored. So that's what was on top. I'll try that out. This is the what the inside of the box looks like. This is wrapped in this tissue paper. And those are the products. So the first thing I see is this Cargo HD Highlighter, Picture Perfect Highlighter Bronze, is what it says. That's what the packaging looks like. And it has a really pretty mirror, but I'm not going to blind you guys. And that's what the color looks like. There's the swatch of it. Can you guys even see that? It 
looks pretty. It doesn't look like super like a bam in your face for a highlighter, but I think it'd be pretty subtle. So I'm gonna take my little highlighter brush here. This is the Wet n Wild Unicorn brush and just This is pretty. It's not a super like intense highlight. It's just, it's very subtle and it doesn't look like it enhances the texture of my face at all, which I really, really like. I feel like it kind of bronzes a little bit as it highlights. Like my nose looks really bronzy right now. <sighs> I think I put too much on my nose. Yeah. I think that's why they put bronze in parentheses because I think this can be like a bronzer slash highlighter. Like just do it all over your cheeks to make it be like illuminated. I don't know, I think it's really pretty. It's very glowy, but it's not like super intense to where it enhances your texture. So I really like this. And the next thing is this Juice Beauty. <laughs> if you watch my Allure unboxing, you'll know what I'm thinking right now. In my bloopers, I said Juice Booty instead of Juice Beauty. I still crack up every time I think of that. But anyways, this is the Juice Beauty Smoothing Eye Concentrate. So I guess this is an eye cream. It says, moisturize and soothe any dark circles and fine lines with this eye cream. It has certified organic grape and carrot juices blended with essential fatty acids to hydrate and nourish the eye area. So I'm excited for this. I love trying new eye creams. Next thing in the bag is this L Thermal Avene Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Plus. It says it is for the face, it's water resistant for 80 minutes, ultra light hydrating sunscreen lotion, fast absorbing matte finish. So I'm excited for this. I love sunscreen and SPF 50 is amazing. Just gonna smell it. Whoa. It doesn't have a strong like sunscreen smell. I almost, I don't know what that smells like. I mean, I don't, I don't hate the smell. I don't love it either, but it doesn't have a strong sunscreen smell, which I like. So, and this is full size. Next thing in the bag is this Michael Starr's Ruana scarf. So um, this kind of reminds me of what we got last season. This is what it looks like. I got the black and white one. Really pretty. I don't know what other colors they had, but um, I like this one. And I don't know, I'd have to see, like figure out how to do it. It shows you all the different ways you can wear it in this booklet, but I'm kind of pressed for time doing all these videos in one. So um, I might wear it in a future video or something and uh, let you guys know how I like it. But I like the pattern on it, it's really pretty. Next thing in the box is this in this bubble wrap. This is, Oh, that's cute. It's like, it's a little necklace. It's in this cute little bottle with a cork. And... It's just like a little necklace. It's silver and has little beads on it. It's really pretty. They're like white and gray beads. That's cute. And I love the little packaging that it comes in with the little bottle. Next thing in the box is this. O3 is the brand. Um, this is the O3 Soothe and Cool Massage Oil. This is huge. Oh, I can smell it through the container too. I can smell the, the peppermint and the chamomile in it. It smells really good. I can't wait to use this. Oh, it smells so good. I'm excited I got this. I guess there was different options you could get. There was a fitness or beauty option. You could either get this or the Chlorine Dry Shampoo. And I got this, which I'm really happy about because I actually got that Chlorine Dry Shampoo in my Sephora Play Box. So I'm glad I got this one. The next thing in the box is this, which I'm really excited about because um, I am trying to drink more water. I am horrible at drinking water. And um, if I have a cute cup, it makes me want to drink more. So um, <laughs> not drink, like drink more water. <laughs> so this is a 500 milliliter water bottle from BKR. It retails for $35. So this is a glass water bottle and it feels like it has like a silicone -y cover on it so it won't break. And I just think this is really cute. It has a little handle on it and it's just, this is awesome. 
to drink more water. So I'm happy I got this. It's really cute. And the last thing in the box is this. I got the art kit. So this is in collaboration with DIY Guru. Um, Amy Tangerine, they put together the perfect kit to help bring out your inner artist. It comes with everything you need, a canvas, brushes, acrylic paints, and a beautiful alphabet stencil. So let the creativity flow. I think that my kids would love this. Um, this is something that we could all do together and I really think that they'd like it. It has little stencils in it and it has paints and paint brushes. My daughters love to paint. So I think I'm gonna do like a little project with them. Like this canvas looks really cute and maybe they can um, make something to hang in their room. So. I'm glad that they included this. I like it. There was, um, you could either get um, a traveler option or a chef option as well. I got the artist option. So I guess there's other variations that you could get. And this is the one that I got. So I really like it. And that was everything in my FabFitFun box, guys. I really liked this box a lot. Like I said, I'm not gonna recommend a box to you guys um, over, like any over the other. I love all of these boxes pretty much the same. Um, I would say my least favorite box this month was the Sephora Play, but um, there are some months where Sephora just blows me away, so. All right, so that was my Battle of the Boxes video. Let me know if you guys like this kind of um, unboxing video where I combine them all into one. I thought it was pretty fun. I might start doing them like this more often if you guys like it. So um, let me know down below what you guys thought. Oh so yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye.